send my very best wishes to everyone attending the Creative Innovation Asia Pacific Conference. Innovation is transforming everything. Are we going to be better off in 2050 compared to 2013? And so this conference is going to be about encouraging you to have positive human collisions, about breaking down silos within your organisations, within your sector, and start really co-creating and collaborating the future together. The conference has been fantastic. Lots of uh, an exchange of great ideas, uh, brilliant speakers, great food, and, uh, and more importantly, it's actually all about the people that you meet. Is there another way of certifying competence other than a paper qualification? The number one thing that China as a country has to do is become more resource efficient. And I think it's, it's a great way to think about things differently. Go and look for unusual things. You need to have a philosophy to do this. None of those changes happened by companies. None of those changes were driven by governments. They were driven by people. And being obsessive about reaping the potential in people. The, uh, the speaker is incredibly high calibre. No one technology is going to save us. We need a whole portfolio. It never has been easier to start a company. The best source of money for any business is a customer. Customers change all the time. Customer behaviours change all the time. You know, we want to co-create. We want to imagine a brighter future. We want our children and, and generations of children to live on a better planet. We won't have ethical leadership in Australia until our power is shared in this country. Hands up all the heterosexuals in the room, please. Hands up if you're heterosexual and you don't mind outing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if we are racing to the future, there's no time to sleep. As Stephen Heppel so profoundly put, there's no time to be complacent. We need to be innovative on technology. We're actually able to find smarter ways. And they go back and solar electrify their own villages within seven days of their arrival back home. The most terrifying moments in my professional career were the points where we just about got it right. We should not need quotas for women. You hold the opportunity to change the world right here. The fact that you make something from nothing, that the impossible is possible. Yeah.